everyone welcome back to my channel this is Ivanie again from Saya City Kimono on Monday you saw me wearing a well basically this is sample <laughs> that I'm actually still wearing um, for my Kiss Kiss season challenge and as I was tying the obi like I didn't have instructions or whatever on how to you tie that um, particular musubi so I liked it very lot and my boyfriend actually said that it looked really cute so I thought why not film it and show you guys then again I don't know if this uh, this particular musubi already has a name and that I'm not aware of it it's just that I tied it um, with no real thought basically so that's what we're showing you today so I'll quickly uh, show you what you actually need for this particular musubi um, of course your normal obi I would say that the longer the obi, um, the better. This one's four meters long, and that helped me a lot in terms of how this musubi looks and how easy I could tie it. Would have used um, an obi that wasn't as long, like three and a half meters. I would have probably won't. I don't think I would have been able to tie it as well or as nicely as when it would have well, tied it with this particular obi. So aside from that, um, I used my uh, Sandri Himo, which is the the Koshi Himo with the three pieces of elastic. If you don't have one, you can use like regular um, Koshi Himo, but you may have to use two instead of one because of all the different layers, like in total there are three layers, so I don't think that it would sit um, the way it would with uh, Sanjay Himo if you would use only um, one Koshi Himo. So with that, it may be a little bit of trial and error in order for you to find out what works basically. And of course, um, your standard obita with or without elastic, that's entirely up to you. Um, whatever you prefer. I just use two for the sake of video, but then again. I nearly always used to. <laughs> so yeah, um, without further ado, let's hop into the video. So I got my OB right here. First of all, you want to measure about the arm length's worth of OB here, from your hands up to your uh, armpit. So that part we're going to make into a triangle and then wrap around as per usual. Once pull it tight and then wrap around the second time. So I'm going to start a piece here, the end piece here. And I'm just going to make a normal knot. Just tighten. And on top of this is where we'll be putting on the Sanjuri Himo. Now if you don't have anything uh, Sanjuri Himo you can use a simple Koshi Himo, although in this case I would recommend two. So having a Sanjuri Himo in this case is just much better. Well, in the end it if you have all the, the ends of the Koshihimo stuffed in front of your obi, it kind of makes things very bulky. And having a piece like Cassandra uh, Himo is just perfect. If you want to cut away all these excess bulk, if you will. So I got my Sanjuri Himo here. What I'm going to do is pull up my obi, measure about a hand's length worth of obi. Just folding it in half, let's speak. Then making it into a pretty little bow and putting it behind every single elastic. So I still have my three pieces here. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side. Again 
a hand's length. Pinching the middle, folding up both sides. I'm going to turn it around and instead of behind, putting it behind all of them, I'm going to skip one, so just one layer. And putting there, so you technically have two layers in front. So I have like wings on, on both sides. I still have like a decent, I should have at least have a decent amount of fabric still left. What I'm doing here, just whereas the middle of this, I am putting it just in the full width and then repeating the same step, pinching the middle, pull up and pull up. So yeah, I got like this, like bunko style knot, and then putting it underneath the remaining layer. So I have your first wing here, second wing here, third wing here, and then the remainder of this. So pretty much it looks kind of like a butterfly, if you will. So the top of the upper wings and the lower wings. I still have this piece. And just like bunko, we're going to pull it Pull it up behind all the layers of the Sanjo Himo, or if you crochet, use crochet Himo. Pull it up from all of the back, and then simply pull it around and pull it up again. And use whatever length you have remaining and fold it over. So if you want you can still neatly arrange all the flaps if you want to. I'm just going to use that. Maybe you want to fold it up or down or whatever. That's person just totally up to you. So now we're going to move it to the back. Put up and you want to make sure that you put your thumb or fingers or whatever behind the Koshima or the Sanju Himo. Otherwise the bow will end up somewhere over here and may or may not come undone. And that's not something that we really want. Just going to move it to the back. Just moving the Koshi Himo behind Mayobi. Let me hold it down a little. So if your obi musubi is not entirely in the middle of the back, you can always just move it around. Again, make sure that you have your thumb behind all the himo or your sanju himo. So lastly, I'm going to put in the obi hitter. Now, as you can see, I already have the other one underneath, but I'm just going to put in this one regardless. It's picking out a little bit. So, yeah. Just pull all the layers down. And there we go. Easy. Uh, it looks real fun. Uh, it's so simple to tie. So with that, I will sh let you guys go and hope I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.